Run it. I can't take no loss. I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, yeah, run it, run it. Oh, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah, yeah, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah, yeah, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Okay, what's happening, guys? Okay, we are back to Two Heads Podcast. My name is Mokhtar. Hi, what's happening? And guys, today we have the awesome, the one and only, the Mr. Beautiful Hair. Oh, yeah, we got Mark O'Neill in the building, guys. Come on. Yeah, but Mark couldn't make it today, so I'm here. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, yes. We go back a long time, and um, I begged him. I'm gonna be honest, I begged them to come here because the cunt is so tight for a fucking bleeding time, it's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. You have so much fingers in every pie, man. Well, What's the story? The ego has left me. That's really the real reason. All them all them years of just chasing it. I'd be at the opening of an envelope. Now I just don't want to leave me gap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man. I said I'll bring you in. Yeah. We touch on a few things from the past. Mm -hmm. Um from a few things from the past, and then we bring you forward and everything you're doing now. And um, yeah, how are you? I'm good. I'm happy. That's, yeah. I don't know what people come on they, like they say, you know, oh, I'm doing great, I'm awesome, I'm brilliant, and they all of these, these lawyers that are telling everybody it's amazing. Don't you know I'm just happy. That's, yeah, that's, that's most important. Thing, that's yeah. it. Uh, like, it's, it's like I was actually fun. on the way up here practicing what I was going to say, and I was kind of saying, ah, oh, listen, well, I come across this way, and I've seen other people in the past saying other stuff on the podcast. I'm like, yeah, they've all kind of said that, but I mean, look, we all have up and downs, but. Honestly, for the, I'm not, not like the first time in my life. Jesus, sounds so morbid. But I'm at a point in my life now, I'm actually just genuinely happy. That's it. Just It's not exciting. I'm just happy. Beautiful. Right yeah. That's beautiful, life. though. Yeah, just yeah. happy. Like, I'm yeah. not rich. I'm not poor. I'm like, there's not like, me and my board, we fight all the time over, like, I always say to her, like, like, babe, what are you arguing for? We can afford anything. Like, okay, can't yeah. afford a gaff, obviously, because it's, it's Ireland. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. But the good thing is, the good thing is, she's rich, so she inherited loads of money. So it's yeah. okay. <laughs> Man, you, you gotta get a culture. You gotta get a culture. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta say how much, how many acres have you got? That's, that's <laughs> what's, what's your dowry? That's yeah, what you yeah, yeah. Dowry. Dowry. I like that one. Yeah. 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 But, but yeah, but, though, honestly, we sit there and we always go like, I like every time it's it's mad. You just kind of. Like it's just something to perspective. Not every time I do it, but I always just sit there when I ever feel having a bad day. I know it's, I just I just sit there and I, I swear to God I do this all the time. Like not every time, but all, like majority of the time I sit there and go, I can afford anything. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not rich. I'm really not. I have a normal yeah. no, normal job. But there's nothing like I can't like go out. Like of course you can't go out and buy a Tesla straight off the bat. Like yeah, but there's nothing yeah, I can't yeah, go. Yeah. John Chinese tonight. Yeah, I remember the point in my life. I couldn't. I couldn't, couldn't buy yeah, Chinese. Yeah. Couldn't. Yeah. Buy, I was looking at going. Oh jeez, I can only afford to take, take away once this month. Mm. But now I'm at a point where I'm like, you know what? No life is like, good. Life's handy. Life Great. is good. No, let me bring you back. I want to be over. <laughs> See, a lot of us, a lot of us, <laughs> yeah. a lot of, a lot of us would know you as a character, Mac. You know yeah. what I mean? But I know you personally. I, I've known you for a long, long time, and you've been known by a gentleman and a good friend of mine. Yeah. But um, I said I want to go back. I want to go back, back to the root of it. You know what I mean? Where did yeah. you grow up, Mac? Uh, from Ballymun originally. Uh, I'm from the four story flats. Um, just basically, just normal kids like. Like anybody, I think you had a uh, Goonery on last last time, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said something, and I was like, you fucker, you said it before me. Yeah. Like, everyone's had problems, and it's something that I've had to grow up to deal with. And when I say deal with, like, look, I'm not a fucking thing, but I, I kind of grew up to realise, I used to think I was the only person that had problems as a kid, I was, uh, but nearly 95% of the world, anyone interesting, didn't have a great li growing up life, you know what I mean? Or they had some sort of issue, or some sort of thing happened in their life, or family member, and... You know, it's I kind of later in life. No, that's actually throughout my life. I kind of grew up more and more towards it. Going, Jesus, I'm, I'm, there's nothing special about my life. There's nothing. Yeah. There's nothing uniquely tragic about it. It's just I get up but and move on. Let, let me be dead honest with you, man. A lot of people say otherwise because you've done a lot of work, mate. Mm. You've been a lot of places. Yeah, you've seen a lot of things. But yeah. me personally, I just want to know exactly. So what well, you came up? You, so. Were you raised in Ballymun Flats yes. or just around Ballymun? Yeah, so raised raised from Ballymun Flats. Uh, my dad wasn't around when I was a kid. Uh, now he is now. He's, I love him to bits. He's, he's actually just like me. You know when people say you've become your parents because you grew up with them? Yeah. I didn't know my dad till I was 17. And the day I met him, I was like, he even started doing mannerisms and all the same as me. And yeah, it's, yeah. it's mental. Mad, and he's the it? nicest guy in the world. I love him to bits. You know, and he gave me, he just said to me, like, look, listen, I wasn't with your ma. Mm. Simple as that. Sure, I, I, say out, and it was that's it. And and I had the relationship with him and his wife. I call her mum, like so. She's it. And then my biological mum, you know, she's still a drug addict, but I've had to grow up with that. Mm -hmm. Um, and I still see her, and I'm there for her. And I, I look, okay, all I can do is try help her, but 
really will will she really be ever off drugs? Probably yeah. not. No, yeah. it's very rare that people do. do but yeah. um, but yeah, that's the only tragic thing, really. Other than that, and like growing up around Ballymun as well, like at, at, at a young age, you know, especially like you said, like um, coming from a, a, your mother being an addict yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Um, what kept you in check? Like what? Uh, what like I know you, you you have siblings, don't you? Yeah, yeah. There's, there's eight of us. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, none of us have the same man dad, so it's, it's all right. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> same yeah, it's great. Um, but yeah, look, look, I love every one of them. I love them all to bits. You know, we have, we fight, we get, we, 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 we I could not have brought each other up, you know, and it's, you know, I kind of, I remember being on podcasts before and some people kind of say, you know, like when, when you've got so many brothers and sisters, you do have to kind of take a role that you are kind of raising them, you know, and this is where when I say this to people, you didn't raise them, you didn't do this. I didn't say I believe I went to nine to five while I was a kid and I was picking them up and doing all these things. But yeah, but I was I had I had to become the adult pretty much because yeah. what's me what's me I'm gonna do it? You know Drama. what I mean? Like um and that's nothing bad on her, that's nothing like, you know, she's had her problems or whatever and wherever me brothers and sisters are or whatever that was in and out or whatever, I, like yeah, I'm not, not knocking them or nothing of the sort. Mm. But I had to be an adult as a kid, so therefore that became made me more immature in later life because I didn't have a childhood in that way. Yeah. Um. But I tell you what kept me straight and narrow was boxing and training, and I was never good at it. That's the thing. I was just shy. Like I was just, I was just loved it. And then I got into the weights, and mm. then you know I met all these people throughout the years. It was like I remember being a lounge boy in the Towers pub, and you know I used to train in Derek McLaughlin's gym under the yeah, Ballymore yeah, Flats. Yeah. Every every <laughs> character you'll ever meet in your life. Life and walks what, into that place, and that, yeah. And that's the mad thing about Dublin mad. now. Like now Dublin is losing all these characters. You remember back in the day, I wasn't no Mad Mary, fucking Matches, yeah, yeah, Matches yeah, Mick. You yeah, know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> you always knew somebody. Like, but now there's none of them. There's no mad. There's no characters. No more. It's nuts. Gone. It's nuts. It's diluted but, now. You know what I mean? Even with Ballymun, right? Ballymun has a bad name now. But when I was a kid, it wasn't as bad. Like I mean, you saw some. You did see some crazy stuff. Like I mean, I don't know if we can even talk about half the stuff. I do want to talk about this stuff. But I remember going on the Mitch as a kid. Like I was in Virgin Mary School, and we went to the Mitch ooh, play sheds across the country. You taught me the business playing sheds. That's how you. That's what you did with your time when you went on the Mitch. Mm. Like, yeah. and some fella came off the flats in front of us. Like, wow, hit the ground and two. You know, two druggies came over. They took his jacket, his gore, luminous uh, orange Gore-Tex jacket, and he ran across Coltry Field. And I sat there, had to go back to school. Couldn't tell anyone because I was on the Mitch. On the <laughs> 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 you know, like, oh, no. like me and two of the lads, that going? Did that actually happen? <laughs> Kept that in for years. That's years. nuts. Didn't tell anyone because I thought wow. I was going to get in trouble. Yeah. But but that wasn't that was a regular thing like stuff like that like like you know. But the, the community, anyone who I I know now that grew up like I used to resent being from Valley Mun. And now when I'm older, I'm kind of going. Actually, do you know what? I wasn't even that wasn't bad. bad. Everyone looked bad. after each other. Like I remember coming mm. home. My mum probably uh, whatever. Let's just say she wasn't there, or you know there wasn't dinner there, or there was no one in, or something. I, I can't remember off to topic, but to be one of the neighbours would go, "Ah, get in, have your dinner in here." Yeah, like, and everyone, yeah, everyone's yeah. door was always open, yeah. and they kind of your, your raised kind of nearly by the community. For the whole, by yeah, for the whole estate. Yeah. Like well, that's what I was always saying. I'm always saying this to my missus, man. Like. The way we grew up to the way the kids are growing up now, it's ridiculous. Because my son even is not even allowed to play. Like, if he goes off the road, yeah, my missus goes like, hey, you are. Yeah. <laughs> sure, yeah, like, yeah, I remember cool. I went out the gaffer yeah. and I don't come back in. To, like, I go out the gaffer at 8 in the morning or 10 o'clock or whatever. And I don't go back. I don't go yeah, back yeah. to like 10 yeah. at night. I see you're allowed. My missus don't even let me do that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not allowed now. You know Where are you? Like, last night was boxing and it was nine minutes after nine. Like, and she's there ringing me. Where are you? Where? <laughs> and the lads were sitting there beside me. And I was like, yeah, Charlotte, I'm just trying to send the lads a video of the, the training room. The training room. Just, <laughs> I'm just like, going, what the fuck? It's my uh, she's mad but like as I said look that's kind of me as a kid that happened and you know my brother's dad was there and he he committed suicide when I was 11 and you know I didn't I wasn't very particularly the last thing I said to him was not what I would like to said you know and a lot of, when I was a kid I, I again I never told anybody about this kind of stuff it's just kind of and I tell you honestly it made me a tough person like, like I'm not saying I'm reading hardcore but I mean there's not much that can really get to me except for a big softy if someone's I see oh man I, I, I just I can't walk by someone I see someone I, I start I'm just real empathetic to everybody and I kind of when I see them yeah. I kind of oh, even 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 though my mum's drugs I still slip on money I know she's going on bro. Like, yeah you have a genuine heart bro. I remember yeah. even when I reached out to you when I opened I was opening the gym the first thing you said is you'll yeah. be there yeah. and you were the first person to go and you're the last person to yeah. leave and that's one thing I always respect about you because like 
we might not talk for a long time, but when we yeah. get to talk, it's always genuine, you know? Yeah, yeah. I remember the first time that me and you actually met. I don't know if you remember that. Um, yeah. We were going to Ibiza, we were, yeah, in, uh, in, the, in Dublin Airport. Jesus Christ. You don't, don't remember that? Gone film yet, no. Okay. See, I want to bring that in, but were I want to... Were you much skinnier back then, or...? I was good looking. <laughs> you were good looking? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I used to think I was good looking. Now you I look know, back at pictures when I was going... It was... It was, was do, you know what, do, you know, do you know what it was? It was uh, straight after California. Oh, Jesus. And you were going... You had your little sister as well, which I think you went to a few, a few of your sister's mates now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alain, was it? Yeah, we listened yeah, to Yeah, and we went to West End. Yeah, And there was yeah. a good few of us. We end up gelling because we stayed in the same hotel. Yeah, I remember this now. And, I remember uh, this now. Yeah. I didn't know that was the first and time. Me and you, that was the first time me and you properly, that. properly spent time together. Because yeah, I remember yeah. me and you going up the West End and we couldn't yeah. walk through the West End. The buggers yeah. were just mad about mad the, from California. Yeah, imagine. The country yeah. folk are mad. And yeah. he yeah. just... But they were. But the thing <laughs> but the thing is, you know, they were. They were obsessed. Because yeah. remember, because remember, because you only literally came off uh, California and in California, you created a bleeding... Like you shook up mm. oil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. You, you shook up oil when you came out of that pill. <laughs> yeah, so you, yeah. I, well, I wish I, I wish I was packing what you had when I did that. <laughs> you know, that's oh, someone. That's how you know a brazen bastard when you not see one. Like there I mean, you go. You that's what I'm saying. That thing on me, and I had no problem getting out in front of the nation. Like. Not a problem. That's how delusional I was. I, that, I had, what I did you have? Tim foil. Tim foil. Oh, that was a different one. That was the other show. That was the. Which one was big that? Brother. The Tim foil was Big Brother, and the Big Brother. I did. California was a pill. Both, both times, both, both, like, yeah. what's wrong with me? Like, I don't have something. Like, I thought I must have thinking I had some peace on me or something. That's <laughs> nuts. No, but yo, let me let me bring you back, Mike. Let me bring. You, let's not get lost in this. So, coming from Ballymun, having all the all the up and downs that you mm. did, right, and then getting over it, getting to a place where, like, okay, you have the confidence and do whatever. How did you go, boy? Because was that your full show, California? Uh, so I'll tell you how it started. So I was in the army force. I joined the army in a set. Actually, I joined the navy force. And then I was in the Navy. The Irish like, Navy? Yeah, the Reserves, so Navy. And we went off and did like all the firefighting and stuff. And we went off down to like Harbolin and Cork. And it just, oh, it was brilliant, man. You were on like two of the ships, the P-51, P-52, Neve and the Roisin. And I ended up applying for the Army. And through all this, by the way, I did boxing and everything. And that was my kind yeah. of thing. Boxing and weights. And as I said, you under the flats, lifting weights for all the lads. And it was just lads, mad. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought, you know, I want something into fitness. And I said, I finished school. school did all right. No, nothing, nothing special. No one in my family went to college or anything like that. It was yeah. just kind of, you, you were just told, finish school and you did all right. And you, you did, did your leaving cert. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. matter what you got, if you got it, you did all right. You finished it. And I, joined, I finished my leaving cert when I was like 17 and I joined the army after. So I applied for the Navy and the army and the one that came back to me was the army. So I joined and I was there for five years. Uh, but in it, I remember, this is how it all started, right? I was, I never drank back then. I didn't drink till I was nearly 26 properly. Like, I mean, of course I've tasted it and stuff, but I, I yeah. wasn't a drinker. Like, I never well, drank. Kind of never, never did it, yeah. yeah. But uh, I remember this string fellow started up in Dublin and I was doing a bit of weights and I fancied myself thinking I was in shape, you know, and he had this advertisement saying, oh, hey, string fellow is looking for dancers and all. And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That was deadly. <laughs> that was deep, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was like, that was like you're, you know, you leave was that one of them parts. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a kettle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't oh, when you sit on one of them beanbags and let out the air. <sighs> That was when he was in shape. He yeah. actually looked like a bodybuilder back then. Yeah. yeah. So we did loads of stuff like back then. I remember. I remember in, that was when he was in shape. Thanks, <laughs> 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 I'm actually wrecking this episode yeah, yeah. today. They called me a kettle, bro. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't let him call you a kettle. Uh, yeah, so I well, remember, re I remember re back, like, uh, like every, as I said, the, the characters back then, be like Ray Lyons and all the boys down there, like Tony Hickey and all. They yeah. told me one morning to go for a. Um, What's it called a bodybuilding show? I mean, they were shaving me legs in the in the hallway of with a big razor, dry, and then ah. rubbing this thing on me. I was in bits. I ended up winning the winning the first timer they did. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Do you yeah. remember that? Yeah, I was yeah, in, yeah, I, yeah. I was like, I was eating pizza on the way to the thing, like, because oh, <laughs> like, yeah. I was just mad into it. Anyway, so I joined the army, as I said, and then uh, this show was, was kind of, man, I was notorious in the army as Gunnar G string. Everyone knew me as, yeah, as <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or, or just right. GR. Everyone caught me towards the end. Um, but I remember the lads, like, load a bunch of army lads could never get in anywhere because I did the dancing then. So I just kind of started like, reaching out after doing the stripping thing and string fellows. Anyway, sorry, long story short, I got into the string fellows thing, and then I just kept dancing there, I was dancing there for a few months. It was on. Then I kind of 
got that taste for it. And then that was a, like an addiction nearly, you know, yeah. you got this thing. So then I went over to the UK to Covent Garden, Soho. Then I started reaching out to different shows like the Pleasure Boys, Dream Boys, the Chain Gang in Ireland. And then I kind of kept doing all this stuff. And the thing is, people think like stripping is kind of, there's two types of stripping. There's the yeah. show, show that you see. Now, Okay, they are crap. Like they're crap. Like they're just a few little kind of clicks and the drifters and yeah, all that stuff. Yeah. But then there was then it kind of got bigger and you were dancing with guys over the UK, man. Be a lot of the a lot of the black lads over there could run yeah. up walls. Like, and then mm. again, the black lads. I'm not going full Monty after them. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I mean, like I mean, there's some guys in there. Like I mean, I remember there's one guy. I don't want to say his name, but there's one fella there, and I remember a little small skinny fella. And he, he turned around, I was kind of, like, I was doing it a while now, and I kind of turned to him and I was like, you know what you're doing? I just saw this thing hanging out of him. Oh, like, Jesus. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> like, this guy knows what he's doing. It's, like, are you, are, is, that, is that a tumour? <laughs> you know? Right, so, this is serious, like, I don't know, it's, it's I mad. I get that checked out. <laughs> like, I was looking at it, because it looked a bit odd shaped as well, like, it just, but, you know, oh. You, you meet all these mad people and, and I mean as I said to you you kind of kept chasing it and chasing it and chasing it and, chasing it and I, I, I kind of it got to a point where you got the kiss of grams on the side which I kind of yeah. show up someone's birthday party you do one song you, you do a little yeah, routine yeah, 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 yeah. eat the banana power a bit baby oil ruin our dress obviously and uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. baby oil over here it's what happens right yeah. and, and that one paid the bills and it was fun so as I said yeah, I, I did this for nearly 10 years doing that and oh. and this is true the whole thing so I, I Finished, I sorry, I finished in the army, and then I kind of was like, I'm gonna go back to college. So yeah. I went back to college then, and while I was in college, look at no, it's, it's, and really is kind of the the thing that people say. I was stripping to get myself through yeah. college. Yeah. Well, because college was a side thing. This yeah. is why I said it wasn't a waste, or really. Yeah, just the side. <laughs> so college was the side bit, really. Like, um, so oh, then I applied for. Oh I remember going to a beat it then. I was 26. I went to a beat it for the first time. I never. I said it wasn't a big drinker. Didn't do anything of the sort. I used to love Westlife and all back then. Yeah, and then. And I went over and I saw a dead mouse in my life changed. I was like, this place is deadly. <laughs> and then I just kind of, you know, I just kind of started living my life really. And then it's become this crazy, sometimes it went a bit over the top as well. I will, I, look, I'll say that. I did go over No, I saw, I saw your character. Yeah. I saw your character back then when you, yeah. when you when you start getting into the feel of the likes of um, California and all that. I thought it was fucking amazing, man. Yeah, but see, really we watched, we used to but watch Shorty Shore. Shore like, that was it. Not Jersey Shore. Shore. Jersey Shore. I remember watching Jersey Shore. T-shirt. No, Jersey Shore. Remember T-shirt time. Yeah, oh, T-shirt. T-shirt time. GTL, Jim Tan Laundry. Yeah. I remember me and my Dwayne. Me and my Dwayne used all the time. We go out and we used to buy brand new T-shirts and we go drinking that night. And then also, a chance came up then for for California, right? And I flew over to, I applied for it, I got it, went over, I thought it was mad and I, 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 all I remember watching I think Geordie Shore just started I think they were in the second season at the time Yeah. and I was like okay how do I do this oh yeah. it wasn't ready bro no well it wasn't even it wasn't even that the production wasn't ready and it wasn't you know what we all were just looking at what like Ireland copy everyone else that's what mm -hmm. we do we see something we copy it so, and I did the same thing I was like I went in and I was like okay I'm at the saying I'm the strip mad stripper which by the way stripping is as I told you before it's dance routines and all you hear about is the money you're just sitting there going yeah. I can't wait to this and you had fun while you're on stage and it yeah, was, yeah, it was yeah. brilliant that, that kind of that thrill of everyone kind of shouting and screaming mm -hmm. and then doing like events like we just so many different things with that mm -hmm. stuff like um and then when we got on that then i kind of went in and i said okay right i'm the new fish i'm on my own here there's supposed to be a girl that came yeah because you, you got into the house yeah. before they all came home yeah so i just went i was yeah. in the nip actually i'll tell you the story about that one actually i didn't plan to do that in the nip what happened was i was on my own and the producer dropped me off and he goes look they're all outside the house right now and um, we're going to come back in like an hour or so go make yourself a home and i kind of walk around i'm having a bit of food i'm scoping the gaff out I was convinced there was cameras everywhere by the way there wasn't yeah right. yeah, there yeah, wasn't. yeah yeah convinced yeah convinced there was cameras everywhere hidden cameras everywhere and looking at a little spot on the wall that's a camera that's yeah. a camera right? Right. so I'm walking around and I started start trying to be funny on my own yeah right? so I took my jocks off right I took my jocks off and I threw them at one the, there was a cameraman there and he was filming me and I was trying to wind them up mm. so I put my jocks off in the pool thinking I'm on my own and I started doing this with the jocks yeah, 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 and I threw yeah. them at him mm. and all of a sudden then I heard the producer and I looked over to the pool like I'm in the pool like and by the way not ready at all yeah. right you know what I mean lads. I would have at least I would have at least fluffed it or yeah, something yeah, yeah. so I look over I look over at your man he's coming in the gate and he's like okay 3, 2, 1 we have them coming in now guys no. so I reached over to the cameraman give me them back give me them back and, and, <laughs> so like, and no. he just he slides his foot and pushes up behind him side. and I'm standing like that and the cameraman's standing like the cameraman's like this going <laughs> Right? I look over the producer, I look over the producer and he has the, all the California people coming out. I'm like, oh my God, someone in the pool. And so I'm kind of going, what do I do? And he's like this, 
come out, come out of the pool. And I'm sick. I'm, ah, oh. ah, so I'm under the water. Please, God, oh, please, something, no. something, something, <laughs> something. And I mean, I just walked out. I said, fuck it. I went out. It's like, oh, Jesus Christ. I went out. And I, I mean, I'm even going to, oh, this is so embarrassing. Yeah. Hi, oh, my name is Mike. Oh, <laughs> here's my penis. Oh, yeah. That was, that was, I didn't even mean to do that. I was like, yeah. oh, what do I do? Uh, the, hey, you know, I'm in a nip. Yeah, I'm in a nip. Oh, shake my hand. Yeah. Oh, by the way, that was a hand. I was just trying to fluff oh, it. Oh, that yeah. was. Fucking yeah. gas, oh, man. Yeah, and then I just went a bit mad on that one where I yeah. thought that's what you had to do to be like, I thought that, like, okay, you have to be the crazy person. I remember yeah. I knew Jay as well. Jay Abbey was a good friend of mine from the stripping days as well. Mm. And Jay was just like a real, like, because uh, Jay knew me as well. And Jay was going, oh, he's going to be mad. But he played up, you know, you, of course you do. Yeah. You played up the camera. I felt like they didn't, let, they didn't allow you to really enjoy yourself on that. Uh, not really, no. But Big Brother was worse. They, they to tell you, you can't do anything. Like, but, like, they kept, they, most people on that one like, in the morning, <laughs> They tell you about what? The big brother, right? So from California, right? Uh. People got misinformation about you, right? Yeah, yeah, the, the big brother. Have I brought on myself? I did. When I look no, back at that, I didn't think so. I look, that, yeah, I look at that and if I didn't know me, I'd yeah. Say, oh, a lot of people took tip, different, but yeah. when you went into big brother, yeah, big change, big change. Wow. No, in terms of everybody fell in love with me. Him. People hate me. I'm California. I've never had grannies. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, bro. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Weird, weird. Yeah, he had a weird joke. It was weird. Oh, Only yeah. the lads I knew him knew. I That's not my just taking the face. Like. I got a slap and laugh at yet one night. One fellow walked up to me and he just got, he got stand there and he goes, whack, and he hits me a dig. Now it was shy dig, but he just hit me a dig in front of his mates. And he was looking and went, <laughs> now by the way, I was fucked. <laughs> I, was like, so I, was like, I couldn't just look at him like that. And I was like, what, what was that about? Like, and then he started talking me and then he was kind of like, by the end of it, then I don't even know how I started because again, I was I was too drunk. Like I didn't mm. know what was going on. Your man just goes, "Jeez, man, I'm so sorry. I'm after hitting you." <laughs> 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 yeah, sorry, but you're right. Yeah, you are right. And he yeah, me drinks yeah. the night. Now I was going, I couldn't remember a thing about the night because I was fucked, right? Yeah. But I was kind of like that. That was the that was genuinely the the feeling that most people hated. And yeah. I was just like, see, I know I was a bit of a dick, but I was only trying to be entertaining. Like I wasn't that bad. And you weren't necessarily wrong to do it either because it no, was because that's why on the moment as well. Trying to, let me be straight right, honest, yeah. right? So so what happened there, like, like going, going, going into Jordy, um, California after been watching Jordy Shaw yeah. mm. and watching the likes of Jersey Shaw before that, mm -hmm. it's the attitude that you would go in there with. Oh, 100%. It would yeah. be, you know what I mean? Yeah, the like the it's like, young, it's like the, the wish version, isn't it? Like <laughs> The wish version. Anything that is Jordy's version. <laughs> but like, no, I, I, I enjoyed it. I, I thought yeah. it was gas, man. Yeah, but when you went into the Big Brother's house, man, that was game changer, man. Everyone fell in love. Yeah, so I'll tell you what, how that happened, right? And mm. why I did that is so, I remember being back at sessions and parties and I remember everyone, everyone just loved to talk about California. Yeah. And everyone just goes, man, you're nothing like that. Why did you, you should have done this, you should have done that. And makes it know me, say, Mark, you're funny. Why did you not be yourself? Why did you yeah. not do all this? And I was like, fuck, look, I had one chance. Like, I blew. I tried to be, you know, I was trying to be this guy. Yeah, yeah, and it does, yeah. I look, I played the wrong card. I, I did it bad. And then, you know, I, I swear I killed someone the way people were going yeah, on. Be, yeah. <laughs> like, like, it's just so serious, lads. Look, listen, I took a chance, didn't work. Okay, sue me, no. Yeah. TV show yeah. the and then mm. when I remember, I remember thinking back at one session, there was this couple that were talking to me and they were just like a real, if you ever got a chance to do it again, what, what way do you do it? I said, you know what, actually, I wouldn't play to the crowd. I played yeah. to all my mates. Because yeah. I'd be literally in my head going, if I ever did this again, I'd be going, all the jokes with my mates and all, and I'd be, all yeah. the stuff that would be buzzing with them. And that's what all I did. So yeah. when I went on the, uh, big brother I literally thought I was gone after day one like I yeah. went in I was like you know what? I'm going to wind them all up we're going to wreck everyone's head but I'm going to be funny with it like but I'm not going to be a prick mm. but I just kept winding them up and messing with them and then I realised they were all taking it really serious yeah. this, this was this was a this was a career move for these people yeah. you know what I mean they, man, they, these were vultures these were people I was I was trying to be when I first started out like they'd be at the opening of an envelope they were like they were liking someone they didn't even know just because this person had clout somewhere they were these type of people and they were name dropping left right and centre and they were doing the best man speech because the camera had come on and the camera doo -doo, and you could hear it coming on and it'd be halfway through a conversation and all of a sudden this person just changes comp yeah. uh, wait, wait we, we were just talking about like bags and titties now, now, we're, now, we're, now we're talking about gospel music and how you love everyone what? <laughs> you know, it, it went as as that's how a lot of the conversations went. Like it went yeah. really. We were talking about mad stuff, and they just switched. Like there was one yeah. scene. I was sitting there with a scene. I'm going to call it a scene because that's what it was. Mm. I was talking to Sam, and she was. Oh man, me and her got on so well when she wasn't playing to the camera. Yeah. And then once the camera came on, she'd be like, "Yeah, man." And then we did this, and we were, and we were backpacking, and then I did, and then she just turned. She and you hear the camera move, and she looks back, and she goes, "Oh yeah." And I just love everyone so positive energy, and I'm oh, sitting God, going. Yeah. 
and this kept happening so I was losing my mind going yeah. well, remember lads you're in there with no you've no telly you've nothing to write on you've had this look after two weeks you've told all the lies you can tell you've told all the stories you can <laughs> you're just sick of telling stories yeah. you're just like and someone else someone new comes in you're like oh new person new stories yeah. new wait stuff. tell me some lies you know yeah. and that's what it was And then, but remember every day as you were saying earlier on um, they didn't let us do certain things so some of the funny shit I did, they didn't actually show, and I don't know what they've shown. So I don't. I think they've shown the funny oh. shit. Oh, you so don't watch it back, no, did you know? No, you wouldn't. You're on the. You're in the house. You don't get. You Sick don't know. Point, anyway. So you're sitting mm. there going, you think, oh man, have they shown that way? Oh, have they shown that? Yeah. There was one of them there that I made them all carry me to the toilet when they were, I was in charge, and I took a shit, and I turned around to Jack, and I said to Jack, <laughs> Jack, wipe it, and I made him wipe me arse, right? <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off. Big brother, bro, character, like Mark, get to the dry room now. Oh, really? Jack, do not wipe my arse. <laughs> 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 right? So we, I got dragged out. I thought I was getting sent home like, like you, you can't do that like they were fucking losing their head at me like so every day from the day from what you did the day before they will like chastise you yeah. and they'll say you know yesterday at this time you said this yeah, nah, nah, nah. and sometimes you say stuff back like there's one scene that they actually showed of me talking I sound mad rapey like it's so bad <laughs> oh, like, shit, yeah. uh, it's one of them ones where you go yesterday Mark you were talking to Sam and you said you wanted to make her cry and she looked sexy because you wanted her to in hort from your big massive cock and I was like oh, and in a monotone voice man that yeah. sounds yeah. so bad yeah. but, we, but, we, but we were saying this in a laugh like we were saying this like me and Sam were joking with each other yeah, like she yeah, was me yeah, buddy yeah, like yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. of course what I said was it is a bit much but yeah. I thought we were at that friendship we were at that level yeah. we were fine but when they the yeah, exactly yeah but when, they, the papers. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. they say it in that monotone voice like, oh, Jesus Christ. I was like sitting there going, oh, geez, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm going home. They're going to kick me out. That's yeah. it. They're leading up to kicking me out. That's what happened. They're doing, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Is that what happened? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm trying to have a hangover as well. But, oh, yeah. <laughs> what happened last night? <laughs> and, 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 you know, you, you do that. And it, and it's funny, like it, it, like looking back now, but Jesus Christ, man, I could have ruined my life. Yeah, and, man. And, but you know, you're only, but anyway, every morning they bring you in, and everyone else be in there for like five minutes, maybe five, ten minutes, and maybe a little bit longer sometimes. And they go, "Yes, he said this. Yes, he said that." I swear to God, lads, and that's no exaggeration. Everyone, this is a running joke on the show. Everyone goes, "Mark's gonna be in there for three hours." Like, <laughs> every every morning, Mark. Yesterday you said this, and they have to chastise you because Ofcom's the regulator, and they ha every time they get a complaint, they have to bring it up and they have to address every single one Rinses, because somebody yeah. was offense, offended by something yeah. that could not work now I would be cancelled right now cancelled yeah, yeah. yeah. cancelled I don't even know what cancelled means I think it means just you're not allowed to do you're anything allowed. Is it? <laughs> or at least it's the veil of that yeah, yeah. it's something it's like nuts. that yeah. but yeah but so, like, so then when I did, I did that uh Big difference. Oh man, look, look, I came out of there and, and I, I, I had such a better reaction. I remember being at the airport and I had people with flat, people with tickets. Yeah. No way. Oh man, the whole world fell in love with yeah. it, man. UK and everything, bro. Yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah, but man. Look, you know they just what? loved the realness yeah. of the normal That's person in there. Yeah. That was it, yeah. yeah. Huge I remember that big time. But, yeah. it was, but it was brilliant, man. It was a great, a great feeling, great thing doing it. And like, I mean, look, uh, one thing I was is I was kind of a lot more humble on that one. Like, because I was just being myself, I couldn't believe it. Half the time I had to kind of pinch myself nearly going how am I on this like I'm I've no talents yeah I'm a great kisser but that's it <laughs> like, well, that, that's not true either. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true but you know the funny thing is though so you came out of Big Brother's house you done a few um, I think you done a few interviews didn't you I did loads of stuff done, I yeah, tried doing acting all the AMs and all that yeah I did loads that, that kind of happened all the time anyway with loads yeah. of stuff you always have things like that and I uh, yeah I, I tried to just I just had a laugh with it and, and yeah. it was just it was fun I just I, I, I just I let it go but I, a perfect example is this I remember going to a nightclub and they were paying me this is back in California let's say mm. and they were paying me so when you're when you are kind of you know popular at that time or you're the talking point you know, everyone wants you, and you're getting like stupid money to go to a nightclub, right? And you come with your big entourage, your fake mates, you know, all the fake mates. Yeah, <laughs> come on, lads, let's get us in here. And they're all like, Yeah, I know, Mark, about three weeks, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, all them people. And look, I was aware of this. Like, that's that's something like I've watched enough mm. movies. I've watched The Wrestler. I've, I knew this was yeah. going to be, yeah. these aren't my friends, but they're fun. They're fun, they're fun yeah. to be around, yeah, you like know. Back. So you go to a club and then you get paid to go to nightclubs. Yeah, yeah, they're great. 
Oh, you know, look, imagine being at a party with your actual mates. They'd be boring as hell. You know, I mean? <laughs> you know, you want yeah. all these mad people. But anyway, you go to here and, you know, you have a great night and you treat like royalty. They're paying you to be there. And you're like, please, come this way, Mark. Yeah, come to our club. And you come in and then three months later, you go to the same nightclub and you walk up to the mates and you're like, come on, fake mates, you're still here, are you? I know we've lost most of you, but come on. We <laughs> come here, we're going to this nightclub, come to the bar. We'll get a scene, we'll get a scene. The same door, man. Sorry, mate, not tonight. Not tonight. Fuck, just like that, yeah. And that's it. And that's, and that's see that, that drive. Of it. It's, it's mad, really, isn't it? So that happened, and I was really after California. I learned a lot from that. Where where I learned the humility of a forced off. Who did I think I was forced off? You know, you know, playing the game too hard the way I did didn't work. And mm. then when I went Big Brother, bigger, better thing. People asked me to come to nightclubs. I was like, no. I'm not going. I don't want to go. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hang out with my actual mates. I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna do some mm. positive things. I'm gonna like ride it, ride this train. And I didn't try to be, uh, and I wasn't. And I kind of I left it at that. And I, and I said, I'm not doing any more. There was talks about me going in the jungle. And I said, no. I said, no. My agent at the time, I said, no, I'm not doing it. Uh, I, I've, I've all to lose. Actually, people like me now. And, I, yeah. and that's something that no one saw. I, that broke me up at the start. But you got to remember, imagine, imagine everyone yeah. hating you. For, yeah. for, what did I do? Like, yeah, I, I yeah, didn't do yeah. that and I was trying to do something. You did what probably most people would do in exactly. that position. And, 100%. And people, and, but people don't see that and they think, 100%. you know, because as I said to you earlier on, the first thing I said here was, you know, of course, people come in here and they go, yeah, life's great. I'm doing great. I make loads of money. I do this, I do this. But that's mm. not really 90% of no. the time. No. You know, you're sitting there you know. and you're going, you've got a nation of hatred and you're sitting there going, that. Bork, that burns you. That breaks you down. Big time. So when I had a positive reaction after Tal oh, after Big Brother, I went, "Fuck this! I'm not yeah. doing that again." Because I, I feel like me. you could have been like. I could, you could have, is, you could have went but, straight from but, that but the, and just kept on climbing. I say this to people all the time. Like nowadays. Like celebrities, right? Celebrities, we're going to call them, right? They're not really celebrities, but let's call them celebrities. They're not talented. No. Mm. All the, like, you've had, like, you know, George Michael, you've had Prince, you, yeah. you know, all these people. You've, like, That's different like, levels. Because comedies, you know, you've, you've, you've got all these people that are just, they had a talent. Yeah. People now are talented for what? Yeah. Like they, they're not even good actors. They're not good thing. They're just doing. No. There's been there's most. Who's the most disgusting and, and obnoxious and rude and, you know, I didn't want to kind of follow. And that's the I think the only thing I had. And if I had a talent, like I mean, if I was a good dancer or something, I'd be like, fucking, you know, yeah. or, or a singer. But I didn't. I didn't have any talent, and I wasn't selling anything. So yeah. anyone who does get this sort of stuff, they're selling you something like this. Yeah. Self help. But you think tape. like it was like because because uh, yeah. the generation it was, like imagine it was Mac now. 20 years old doing that now. I couldn't do it. Man, I look back as like a stranger. I look, swear to God, as a stranger. Really? Ah, oh, and I swear, I, I, that's not, that's not, it's something I've said a million times, but it's not something I've made up to try to sound cool. It really, even the dance and the strip, and I couldn't do it. I look down and I'm like, I'd be like, like who, <laughs> how do we have the balls to do that? <laughs> like, it's crazy. Like, I look at that now. If you said to me now, I'll give you a grand to get up on the stage, which I did maybe eight of them in a night, like, yeah. and I did every weekend for 10 years, I was flying, yeah. and that was no joke. 19 yeah. to 29, I did it. Mm. And I'm sitting there going, and I, I was going, I'd be jumping into things half time be half cut sober sometimes sometimes I had no music I danced in the oil of Tesco's one time mm. stripped it out in Tesco's down in oil for someone's birthday like, <laughs> but that, and, like, that's crazy to even think about imagine with no music you just kind of hum it to yourself in. ooh cha 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 you know mostly the breathing in between yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> your, your boots squeaking and all down the oil clean up an oil too you know and, and like, I couldn't do that now it's, it's, it's kind of it's, I'm a complete different person I know people say when you get older you you do become a different person. You're yeah. not the same person you were five years ago. No. You know, I'm not the same person I was, what, 15 years ago? That's yeah, 100%. Years ago. Okay, so guys, today's episode is brought to you by Auto Technic Ireland. Auto Technic specialise in car keys. So if you've ever locked your key in the car, we've all been there, we've all fucked up once or twice. If you've locked your key in your car and you need to get in, you need to get out, you need to get on the road, Auto Technic will come straight to you and fix all of that problem straight away. So Auto Technic are located on the Longmoyle Road in the back of Wiggler's Unit 113. The sponsors of today's podcast and the saviour for anyone that's locked their keys in their car. Go check them out today. So, I mean, that music... I thought it was God. Someone dancing in the desk. I thought it was God. Someone dancing in the desk. Mark, you were nah. right. Yeah, yeah. No, I like, no. It's Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So these things, like as I said, they, 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 they just kind of happen. And you, in a way, all these things that happened in my life, you know, gave me substance and gave me something to kind of appreciate. And, you know, as I said to you there, me and me board now, like I always sit there and I go, I can afford anything. I, I'm, yeah. I, I love my job. I love yeah. my job. That's, why, that's where we're going to next. Do you want to take yeah. it from you? 
Yeah, yeah. Well, my, my thing was actually... I, I was going to say for the act, I never got another. Well, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. from, from Big Brother. Yeah. What was the next thing that you did, Tell me Right, so I tried to do acting, right? And I was on like a couple of acting, bleeding, like web, web series, and, and then I tried to do... I did a couple of things. I even tried to do another California that was called... Uh, Oh, I don't even want to tell you what it was called because it was it sounds so wrong already. I think I remember. Yeah. yeah. There was a few there's a few choice people. Let's not mention their names. Yeah, it was like the posh part again. Yeah, yeah. It went, uh, went posher. Uh, well, it went posher ish. I became so I became a little bit nicer on the show that we filmed. We filmed like a pilot episode and I was actually more of a producer as well of being on it. Like cause yeah, I was trying to yeah. I was kinda of helping. And we had a few of the crazy people at the time and people of no um, and some of the California people to try give them another chance to go, you know, see what happens, like see if they can kind of redeem ourse- mm. ourselves. And I just took a step back, and the people around it were crazy, and it was so bad that it, it made didn't last. The, it made the valleys look timid. Yeah, like, fuck, like yeah. there was people riding on a countertop. Yeah, it didn't last. It didn't last. No, it didn't get it didn't get taken up. Uh, there's loads of reason for it. politics behind a lot of things. Not just even politics. Just people. You have to like you could you could produce a really good show, and if it's not what they're looking for at the time, they're not going to take it up. And it's, you have to sell it. it to like when you film something, you can sell it back to different stations, and that, mm. and that was the plan. And um, then we we tried to do a lot of other things with it as well, and it didn't work. And the accent thing, then I tried. Oh Jesus, you know, you ever try to do accents in the mirror? Yeah. Now here's how you know you're an actor. This is how you know you're an actor, right? Mm. Do a New Zealand accent. Go. All right, mate. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? New Zealand. Well, New Zealand. Go. No, that was terrible. Matt Damon in Invictus. Go. <laughs> I've never even seen Invictus. Yeah, but, didn't, no one could do yeah, it. Australia. Really? Be Australia. Australia. Everyone Australia. knows Australia. Yeah, Everyone knows Australia, that's right? The first thing so we got, yeah. if you, so this thing I try to do, and every every accent I do is just it's like a mixture between down the country, Australia, and someone that lived in the nineteen fifties. Like it's <laughs> it's so weird. I can't do accents at all. Mm. And then I'm one of them people. You think you won't be able to look at the camera? Like I remember there was a scene I had to do right now. Um, I was played this guy named Dean. And Dean was supposed to be this dumb jock, uh, and he was mad paranoid of his board ripping him off. But his board was ripping him off. But he was mad paranoid, right? Yeah. And one of my scenes was I had to walk into the barman. I had to kind of be like, what am I trying to do smolder noise? Am I doing it? I don't know. You're an Am I kind of doing it? Yeah, yeah, so I walk in and be like, excuse me. Like, Sorry, your man is saying, I'm not fucking that up. Your man come up to me and he said to me, so uh, yeah, you had this line about me. What have you in here? Something real elegant and intellectual. And I was sitting there kind of going, yeah, I'm looking for me board. She has a. Brunette, and I'm looking at the camera like that. Brunette hair, or does she have? Like, <laughs> and I'm blinking. Have, have, have you seen her? And I'm, and I'm really, really bad, right? But I actually, when you look on a camera, unless you're overacting, right? You look like Matt Damon. You look, like, oh, yeah. you look like you're doing nothing. Yeah. So you have to be really over uh, accentuating yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah, 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 and I just looked it. like I was going. <laughs> 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 right? And I realised I couldn't do it. So I gave it a go again in another episode. We had this thing on. It was something to do with Transformers and Predator and all. It was mad, right? Mm. And again, I just, I, I, I had to push this girl, pretend to push her, mm. because she was telling my board, you know, to leave me. And I have to pretend. <laughs> Her across the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were really going to ah! Then they all kind of everyone was like, whoa, whoa, whoa! And I thought this was all part of it. No, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> and then I, then I was going to like really improv in here. And then they were like, yeah, tell me, Mark, listen, you don't come back. I was like, oh God. Jesus Christ! Uh, okay, I'm not made for this. I'm terrible. I, and then even parts when they were, they were some, some of them were they were slagging me. They were slagging me, and I was getting mad paro with it. Like, but that was part of the show. Right. Wow. Well, I was, I was getting, I was getting really, I was fucking slagging me. And I was getting really, I started hating one of them. I never said that. And I was looking yeah. around, I hate that prick. <laughs> yeah, he was slagging me. But that was the line. He had to say but it. He's like, an actor. He was acting. <laughs> He was acting. Oh, like Push, push, I got mad. He's fucking what a prick. I fucking hate him. He, he doesn't like me. He's trying to make a fool of me. Him, and I got really shit about it. Anyway, but that was just a bit of fun and kind of just messing with it. And a little, it was only online stuff. It was nothing major. And then as I said I had quit and everything. I'm, I'm done with everything, as I said. And then I uh, what happened after that? Then yeah, I. Uh, Throughout all of this, by the way, I was in college. Yeah. So I was in college, did my degree in chemistry, then the master's in biochem. Yeah, you're a book smart, well, aren't you? No, I'm not. I'm just a good lawyer. Come on, That's man. It. <laughs> no, no, mate. I'm telling you now. Like, uh, anyway. When we first seen, I seen, when I seen, I think you, I think you went away to America. 
That's just after that. This, uh, America yeah. was after us. This is before I went. So let, let me say, so I thought everybody went to college with Professor Frank from The Simpsons, right? Yeah. I thought everyone was rugby. Oh, even, even, you know, real smart, yeah, smart. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. right? <laughs> I did. I thought, and that, especially science, I thought everybody's going to be a fucking genius. Nerd, Walter yeah. White or some war, yeah. right? Everyone's a liar. Everyone has a clue. I, I, I swear to God, everyone's lying. And I remember, I remember being in a class and it was linear algebra, one of the things you have to do, you have to do maths, right? And I was like, mm-hmm. fuck, I'm so good bad at maths. I'm so bad, right? And you have to do maths and you're in a classroom in a big auditorium of about a thousand people there and you, you're kind of looking over and, you know, he's talking about all these things and I'm like, oh my God, I forced off I was in the army for five years. I just took, took I forced, well, I wasn't good at maths before. I now took five years gap and now I'm back. Oh, back into it. oh no. And, and I'm sitting there and he goes, so does everyone understand the assignments? Because you had an assignment every week you have, right? You have to know. And I was, I, I was like, this room for a thousand people. Uh, and then the fell off the telly <laughs> right? yeah. you know what I mean <laughs> so I'm like this mm, right? and then he goes eh, yourself and I said uh, yeah I haven't a clue and he goes does anyone else not have a clue and all of them start whispering all, yeah I didn't know either I said nobody put the hand up like they're all yeah. everyone's, everyone's putting everyone's this front weird. up pretend they're smarter than they are no, I, I yeah. straight away I was up there every week with the, with the lectures and all going I haven't a clue I'm fucking stupid and they were like talk, they were talking me off a ledge nearly every week I was going to quit every yeah. week I can't do this because I'm not smart and like I had to work 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 like some people are actually smart they come in and there was like they got it straight away yeah. I, you could tell me something about five six times and i sit there and i walk away and go what do you say you yeah, know what yeah. i mean the, and, and me. so i had to go away and i had to do the work and i'm not saying like oh hard work hard work. i wasn't saying that I, because i'm not as smart i had to to do the work i'm a c student at best b student you know what i mean if i worked at it i can get a b if i really cheat i can get an a but that's how it works you yeah. know and I, I, one thing i've learned in life if you're not cheating you're not trying you're not winning <laughs> I finished I finished my degree and I was like lovely I'm gonna take on the world I'm gonna get away from everything and I am gonna go to America and I went to America and the TV the TV negativity followed me no. uh, oh I went, yeah yeah I went over and I was there I just I, oh man I, I went over and I had got a job I, you know your dream job right after whatever you're planning to do and you, you've got to do all these shitty jobs to build up to that job i skipped all the shitty jobs I, I applied for this job right and this is how much of a blagger i am as well so uh i applied for this job and your man goes yeah you can come in for an interview dr paris brings me in in uh, ucsf in san francisco and it was like a medicinal chemist i was like oh my god i can't believe fucking here <laughs> went in i just i couldn't believe i got the interview and i went in and i was like oh, i didn't get the interview it's a group interview bollocks so i went in <laughs> so before i went in i looked up this guy on the internet and i looked up what he did and he looked up he one of the things he's known for was palladium um alkylation it was one of the a new way of doing this so I just memorized it I didn't try to understand it I just copied it and wrote it down about 10 times before I went into him yeah. so if he did ask me I'd be like yeah yeah and then you did this so I'm sitting in the class there and he goes does anyone know how to do the palladium uh, thing and I went hand up yeah. and I was like oh you do oh yeah great um, yourself where are you from and I had to hear the accent and all that kind I of stand yeah, off right brings yeah, me yeah. up I'm on the board and I'm drawing it all out and he goes Jade that's very good yeah that, that's very good I can take a seat here and then before you sit down um, do you know how to do this one there's an alternative way to do it oh yeah yeah I know that way too and I went to this guy's looking at me like Jesus Christ so I come down I sit down and I'm like yeah fucking nail that <laughs> that's it don't ask me anything else <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right? done. so afterwards all the he tricks bring, out of the bag yeah, afterwards he brings me up after the class he goes Mark, Mark can I have a word yeah he bring me over and he goes Jesus Christ he goes that's brilliant he goes look I'm going to offer you the job uh, told me straight away by the way this wasn't a walk away and thing I'm literally uh, people are leaving yeah. and they're still talking to him and he's like telling me I'm going to offer you the I'm job I'm going to give you the job like. so he goes look uh, can I ask you a question he says how would you know them two things and I went I googled you <laughs> 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 oh legend <laughs> I just hung myself. Right out to dry. Like. I just hung myself out to dry. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the end of the I knew. <laughs> <laughs> right, so... He goes, he was cool with this. He didn't mind. I went oh, off. He sent sake. me off with the PI, the uh, principal investigator. Like, so the fella running his lab sent him me off with him. And your man's, oh, yeah, this, this is where your locker's going to be. This is where your desk's going to be. And uh, this is the pin number of the building. All this stuff. Oh, hold on. Come walking back, Dr. Paris. That's about, like, he gave me a little tour of, like, the building on. Dr. Paris comes over and goes, hey, Mark, <laughs> come here. You want to have a chat <laughs> no, with you? exactly. Brings me into the room. He goes, can I, can I, can I, take a seat there for a minute. He's, <sighs> he's, he's all come flustered. Gets his screen. He turns around to picture me with tinfoil on my dick like that. Oh, right? Oh. He goes, and I looked at him. He goes, yeah. 
I got I got thinking after you said you Googled me, I Googled oh, you. Yeah, of you. course. Oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's me brother, actually. It's with a K. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, what do you say to that? Oh, no, he was really nice about it. So one of the hardest things about getting a job over there is he want references, and he won't take references outside of America. So he just kind of goes, Mark, you're really impressive and all. And he goes, you know, you're brilliant and all, but I get all my funding from my reputation. I can't have someone like here working here. And I was like, oh. Fuck, I'm so, man, it, oh, it broke my heart, it did. But I ended up getting a job, as I said to you, I think I was telling you there, I got a job then in another lab, and this is what I'm saying, back when I was in my 20s, man, I was mad, like, no, I was actually, I was only 30 then I was, I was 30 then. And I was able, to, I just had this drive to keep going. So I got a job in a lab and I loved it, absolutely loved it. I loved with, I worked with people with muscle dystrophy. And yeah. it was, I was a chemist and I worked with like, you had clinical trials working around you. It was such a good company. And it was, but it was eight to five, Monday to Friday, but they didn't work up my visa. And I was like, fuck. So I loved the job. It was great. And how I got the job was I had a reference from Dr. Paris who wow. didn't say a thing. Yeah. That's how I got it, yeah. And he said it to me. He'd put me down. He was nice enough about it and all. And I told him, oh, I left all that behind. It's only that. You know, and he did do me a favor. And I have to say, fair play to him. But then when I, I have to still work with my visa, you know, you're working with you, you've got to get your visa sorted. And I was like, okay, cool. How am I going to do this? So I got another job. And I started the job. So my, my normal job Monday to Friday was eight till five. And maybe about 50 meters down the road was another company and they hired me at night time on a Wednesday at seven till seven in the morning. And I went Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and every second Saturday. So I used to sleep literally in a building called Building 34 and it was like sleep pause and you sit there. So yeah. I was basically, I was finished work at five o'clock. So Monday, Monday, Wednesday was okay mm. because you could give a fine. It was after work Wednesday. Now the good thing is this is how everything kind of fell into place. On a Wednesday, they used to hire in this catering company in the daytime job, and I used to bring in all my lunch boxes. So I'd fill them all up, they oh, would, yeah. and the lunch boxes and all the Zuckenheimer food, right? And I'd have all my food for the next three days because I'm not going home. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Not, I'm not going home. Yeah, so I had going. all my stuff in the fridges there, perfect. And I go to from one job to the other, two hours. So I used to try try get a nap or something before I start work at seven. Then I used to sneak food while I was working. I'd be trying to eat food whenever I could, or going to the Jackson eating food. No joke. And then when they gave me my hour break on a nighttime shift, I was going to sleep. For that hour, then I get yeah. finishing work at seven, going for a nap for an hour. I might have dribbling on myself. Sorry, right. <laughs> it still smells like soap. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So I, I, I'd be going from I'd be going from there from seven o'clock, then sleeping for an hour in the sleep pods, and fucking just turn. Oh yeah, fucking hour go off, and I wake up and I go, oh, Jesus Christ, I was in bits. But it just got progressively harder and harder and harder. Yeah. I did that for a whole year um, until the daytime one says, we're going to work with your visa. And I got an extra year out of them then. So I just, the minute I found out they were going to do it, I quit. I fucking quit. Yeah. So uh, like, I, I didn't really yeah. enjoy America for the first year because it was working. It was just How long were you there for? As if new two years. Yeah. Two years, yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. Just, so, just over two years, yeah. Just literally walk. Just walking for the first year, yeah. Uh, San Francisco I was. Yeah. And uh, I, I really enjoyed it. It was... Um, like I enjoyed it the second half. I remember we used to go to the like I went to Utah and everything. I went up and went to Sulphur Pits and I'd be sitting mm. up in the mountains and Sulphur Pits. By the way, do you ever see them Sulphur Pits in movies? Where oh, not movies are in like people put them up and they go, oh yeah, I went to Sweden or I went to this place in the snow and it's all these hot hot springs. Yeah. They smell like arse, by the way. What yeah. a sulphur! It's just pits yeah. of sulphur. It's like eggs. And you get your eggs yeah. and rotten egg and you get yeah. out and your skin smells like that for about three days. Like really, it's not good. Such a it's not for good. Soap now. Yeah, now that's why the snow's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> what sofa is sofa sofa like arse <laughs> so anything that smells sweet is oxygen uh, an oxygen molecule kind of on the end of it but if it has a sulfur so anything, anything like smells like far, I don't know how to say it bitter or rotten or putrid is usually yeah. sulfur sulfur yeah. sulfur yeah so after tart tart yeah, tarts, mm. yeah, they, I'm sure they smell like oh wait you're talking about something else <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. I get the dumb thing yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, so, so that's really yeah, yeah so it was um yeah, I, I said I loved it over there. I remember I used to go on, like, on my second year after I got rid of the first job and I fucking started actually having a life again. Yeah. Uh, I remember I, used to, I was one of the first people to have an electric bike and I used to cycle everywhere in this electric bike thing and it was deadly, right? Just deadly. And I'd fly around, I'd go down through this the Golden Gate Park and I'd be swing dancing with grannies on a Sunday every 12, 12 o'clock every Sunday. Mm. And I did it as a joke. Someone dared me to do it and I said, bet you won't do it, bet you will <laughs> went up and I started going, this is actually really good. And I said, see you later, Mildred. See you later, Johnny. See you next week. Yeah. And it was like, it was just brilliant. Like every week I used to go down, I used to love doing all that. And I really enjoyed it. And then kind of just really made a lot of friends over there. Then yeah. I ended up coming back and I was done with like, I, I was done with like, to tell you, I was completely done. I, I, was, I had a career now. I'm working away. I ended up doing a master's then. And 
um, yeah, I, I just kind of moved on, just kind of getting away from everything. And then, as I said, when COVID happened, so I'm skipping a big chunk of time here, but mm. um, COVID happened then, I'm walking away and I'm doing my thing. And my girlfriend now, which is, this is another mad story. Actually, no, wait, no, wait, wait. Let me go back one first, wait. When I was over in America, right? So this is the blagger again, right? Yeah. <laughs> Mad blagger, right? So, <laughs> so with the, so with the army thing as well. I'm a reservist now as well, which is I've always had this drawn thing towards the army. So when I went over to America, we went for a, an apartment, and all these apartments are on Craigslist, like man, they're all serial killers. Oh, it rubs the lotion on its skin. <laughs> you want the apartment? I'm like, Where do you live? I live next door. Oh, <laughs> uh, so you're like, oh, gee, yeah, one guy, one guy had a, a partition, a, a curtain, a black curtain in the middle of the room, and he goes, I'm over there. That's you're <laughs> <laughs> and I look at my mad money is what they're doing right so yeah. a lot of people like people think Ireland's bad that was happening in America like eight years ago eight years this is ago, mad. Like, that's mad and they were asking for mad money but I remember we went for this uh, apartment and it was like an old World War 2 base that they renovated called Presidio right right beside the Golden Gate Park uh, gar- uh, sorry Golden Gate Bridge and Baker Baker Beach was my back garden but I went in and yeah a woman like, comes in she goes yeah yeah she goes um, so what, what number are you on the list and I says we're not on the list you're not on the list ah and I was like who the fuck are you laughing at like, you're like, you like, 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 like I mean I mean I'm like I'm really standing there going what the fuck this bitch like, kind of like that fella that was acting laughing at yeah, me yeah, like, yeah. and I'm like, I'm like I feel like a man fucking uh, Hank from uh, me myself and Irene <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm going to kill it All right, So I'm sitting like that And I'm kind of like Oh yeah So I'm kind of Just having a laugh Or I kind of I would not laugh Just kind of going What can I do to get this bitch back How am I going to get this bitch back That's, that's, what I'm, that's how I think I'm like I'm gonna, This fucker's laughing at me Take yeah. this. It's funny that you say that uh, yeah, I'm not on the list, and she's there laughing, and she goes, "There's only one, how do I said, how do I get on the list? There's only one way you're getting an apartment here, and that's only if you're on the list over two years, or if you're ex-veteran." Funny, uh, it's funny you funny say you that. Say that yeah. I am a veteran. Now, the veteran that they're thinking about is an American veteran. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm sitting there. First off, how the fuck did you not cop this with me accent? Yeah. But I went and I went. <laughs> Gas whipped out me PD4 a credit union card. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> you get an army credit union when you join the army, right? Yeah. And it just has like a military symbol on it. Like that. Yeah. Just went out, I just kind of like an ID. <laughs> It's funny you say that. Whip this out. Goes, oh my God, thank you for your service. I'm so sorry. Yeah, like they're that. serious so over there. Anyway, man. she bring me over. Anyway, she brought me to the thing. And she goes, oh, yeah, oh, I'm so sorry about that. And, and, and how long are you, uh, uh, how long are you out, of, uh, out of the military? I'm still in active service. She goes, oh, well, that's great. You, you actually get like a big discount here. We give you like 25% off as well. That's fantastic. And um, what's your uh, military, military ID number? 861491. She looks at me, uh, just my old army number. She goes, uh, you're missing four digits. Uh, one, two, three. <laughs> and, this went, and this went down fine. So we lived there for the whole two years we were there. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Brand new, got away with it. I couldn't believe every day. I was like, everyone thought it was a veteran on them. So uh, <laughs> right? Right? So, down down the guys, guys, either Americans are gullible as fuck. Or, just, or, I, or, or I am just a mad spoof. <laughs> yeah. But but yo, the yeah, come to say that. Let's, 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 let's slow you down. Yeah. <laughs> so you came home and anyway, yeah, the lockdown yeah. happened. Yeah. We came out of lockdown. I think it was lockdown that you went into the S or yes, uh, maybe. Yes. Uh, S-O-S yeah, S-O-S the, the Hell Week thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 You so, won that, you cunt. Yeah, well, pff, do you know why? I knew everyone would give me shit if I didn't. So it was kind of like... And then your the day is, I'm not good at training now. I'm not yeah. good at this. I'm, you I'm, went I'm, in I'm stubborn. I'm stubborn. <laughs> I'm stubborn. But see, there's another part to that, right? So my board now, she, we met each other at a talent... This is, how, this is how I love how everything comes together. I'm not into this, people. Everything happens for a reason. No, mm. everything happens molds you but it, it's not that it happens for a reason but they are the reason why you're the person you are now all those yeah. events that happen make you now so that's that's that if they happen in different order probably wouldn't be the same person mm-hmm. but i met this girl in 2012 just after california right and she i was doing an appearance me and cormac down in limerick um and i think it was called a sin bin or something like that and she was in college down there and she wouldn't give me the time of day right i, I went over and all these girls like that and she goes just stuck up your own hole fuck off you know what I mean? uh, like, oh, maybe i am but <laughs> i want to talk to you i'll keep and trying we, we, <laughs> you know, we, we, we stayed in touch um uh, and like oh, throughout the years you know we, we'd hook up or i'd meet up or sometimes just as friends like not just like a oh, hook up like that kind of thing not like that like mm. we were dating for a while then we weren't and she was she's an irish dancer and she was traveling everywhere i remember being in ibiza and i couldn't even see in front of me and i'm walking down the road and she's totally she's a bogger not into yeah, any of that not scene into at all like that. and i walked down the thing i must be hallucinating 
that's not hard, is it? Yeah. She comes up, stick, get up the road, and I was like, what are you doing to beat them? She goes, I'm dancing here. People come to a beat to watch river dance? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then Mad. I remember, she was like, we were in, a, she was in America then, when I was in America, I bumped yeah. into her over there, she was dancing oh. for Disney. Wow. She was dancing for Disney. She was like, she was a Disney princess or whatever she was. Then she was on the boats doing the, the cruises. I just kept bumping into her and then she kept meeting up with me throughout the years. And like, again, went for food her a few times, we went for drinks sometimes, we met up sometimes, we did hook up sometimes, we didn't. Mm. And it just throughout the years, this kind of happened. And then, and COVID happened and she was supposed to go to Taiwan mm. and she got stranded in Dublin and she gave me a call. Are you awake? Yay. <laughs> I am. And she hasn't left since. Wow. Way, yeah. man. That's yeah, so, this man. Is, so here's how the COVID thing, or the, the, um, the hell week thing. So, the, the, I got I got approached. I, I used to get these things all the time and most times you think people, are, I was mad paranoid. I was mm. mad paranoid. I, I think I still am. Mm. What are the lights for? What's going on? You said this was a casting for something. What's happening? Right, years ago in San Francisco. You gave the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the army number that you gave. Yeah, we're back to we're collect. Back <laughs> so yeah, so they re- they called out to me and they like they were like, here we've got this thing going on. It's like it's like the SAS in the UK. We've done an Irish version. I, I heard that before. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> and I, and I, I did. I, was twitching. I, I said, no, I swear to lads, I swear. I said, no. And right. then the girl reached out to me again and she said, she goes, look, we have this thing. You'd be, be great for you, be suited. And we see you're doing a lot of training with Kev Claxton doing the, because uh, everyone was training at home now at this yeah, stage. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, everyone yeah. became a CrossFitter nearly because there was no equipment. And she goes, oh, you'd be so suited for this. So I said to me, best mate, Kev. And I said, Kev, what, what do you think? And I says, like, told him the whole story. I told you, was, look, I ruined my life then. Now I feel like I'm in a good place. People Ooh. are starting to forget. <laughs> you know, <Yeah. laughs> you know, people are starting to forget about me. I go into a room, people are going, look at that fucker. Yeah. <laughs> I've, oh, I've seen your dick. Oh, I've seen your dick. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and I didn't like that reputation because now I'm being taken seriously in my career and a whole lot. And I just said, I've, I've just too much to lose here. I'm not doing it. And I said, no. And then Kev goes, man, look, you have to do it. And it was actually, I owed this to Kev. Kev told me, you have to do it yeah. because, you know why? There's going to be a time in your life you can't do these things. Can't, exactly. He goes, get over that. Get over that. People, just be you. People liked you. Yeah. I just kept thinking of the force one, how it ruined me. And I was just like, no, man, I can't, I can't. And, then, and anyway, I just seen what happened. I went and I did it. Um, but me board trained. This is why she never went home. She was up in Dublin. She couldn't go back because she doesn't drive. Okay. Very convenient, so she doesn't want to leave. Yeah. Um, and you know, when, by the way, you know, we know women do that as well. Yeah. You like, she comes up a couple of times. You go, oh, yeah, babe, look, leave your toothbrush there. Yeah. Put next one, you see the bleeding wardrobe is the mixed. drawer is like torn into it. Yeah. Oh, that is potpourri. Yeah. Why is so much soap in here? <laughs> <laughs> is it in there? Oh is it God, it's a thing. No, so, and that's that's us to do the move it. But look, it's it's it great how it worked out, and you know, she kind of. Man, I'm I'm so unorganized with lo- with just life. I'm just very kind of spontaneous, and I kind of up and go, and I I, I jump in the open of doing anything. Like, anything that happens, I'm kind of like I'll do that. I well, think that's yeah. a great thing. We like, mates like many times I took fights boxing night before. Like yeah. you know, I took a fight before night before, and then I, I basically jumping in, and I feel like oh, you're mad. Like I remember I won I won an Irish title, um, against a, a pro fighter back in 2013. And here's another mad story, another one, the fella who I be. Is actually my girlfriend's now's best friend's brother. No, way. no, I didn't know. Yeah, and I took, I took, I took the t- a fight. Um, I took a fight at that night. I went in. The fellow was supposed to fight the champion in kickboxing. Elbows, knees. By the way, I didn't. No one told me elbows and knees were allowed. Oh, so so a block like this, you got the back of the head, knee in the middle. Of it. So I thought I was fighting a boxer, and your man goes, "Oh, the boxer didn't show up, and the fellow's supposed to fight the champion has a broken leg." But look, listen, what weight are you? Eighty-one kilos. He's eighty-five. Look, worst case scenario, you get knocked out. Best case scenario, you win the belt. You win the belt. Went in. Battered me, absolutely punched the head off me the first round. I didn't know where it was. Where? Who's hitting me? Anyway, <laughs> second round came out and I threw, threw a check hook. Check hook. Knock him out. He knocked him out. Wow. Retired the champion. <laughs> never oh. fought. Never fought. Oh. Kickboxing again. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me bring you back. So, so yeah, what so did I, you take uh, away from the SAS? Uh, so yeah, so we took the S- SAS thing and I went on that and I just said, you know what? I had in my head. All the army lads are going to watch this, you know, and, yeah. uh, and and again, I had just this affinity. Like I actually live in the old um, Collins ba- uh, Clancy Barracks now, okay. which is mad. Yeah. I, yeah. I've lived in McKee. I lived in I lived in all the barracks around Ireland. Then I went to America. I lived in the barracks. Then I moved back here, and I'm now where old Clancy Barracks used to be. It's called Clancy Key now. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, man, this is so. This is odd. this is odd. These are coincidences that are yeah, all linking up. Yeah. So, and I've always fancied myself. I've been good at like. I haven't been good at many things in my life. Like when I say good, this is not a downer thing. I'm saying I know where I've been really 
good at doing it. I was always good at being a soldier. I've, yeah. I've always loved it. I've always had an interest in it. And that's why I'm a reservist now. Mm -hmm. uh, I went back only there two years ago and I'm kind of, you know, playing the, how's yeah. it going? Yeah, put your yeah. heels together and all that kind of okay. thing. That's good. But, nice. you know, I went and I... Uh, I said I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to do this great I'm gonna have to do it I went on and I said I'm just not I'm just gonna have a laugh with this and I'm gonna do yeah. it as I said because Kev made me kind of he convinced me to do it and I just said no I'm not gonna act the bollocks and you couldn't act the bollocks no so I thought I had one up on everybody because I had all the military experience and I, I was mm -hmm. like they're gonna love all this so I started doing all Shomer Arrett and all oh they went in on me they yeah. oh, they bent me over and they were like you yeah. little and cunt. it is legit like they are not giving you a yeah. so I mean lads that's the best thing I ever did it was the best decision. I've made a lot of bad decisions, like we all have, but this was the best decision I've ever made. This one has full. I went into that show, and I mean, I mean, so I went in. I was super fit. I was training so much, and this is we'll talk about the fight as well. But I trained so hard with Kev Claxon, so hard that that I couldn't. I was cold all the time. You saw me rattling all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't yeah. warm up because I was too fit. I trained so hard that I was like, oh, I ain't got that fucking wind. This, and when I did it, I broke my hand. I cracked the rib and I broke my ankle while I was training before that fight. Right, wow. I'm still not the same after that show, and uh, that's nothing on them. That's how hard I pushed myself. I yeah. pushed myself so hard that I have a problem with me hip, me back. What's what's there for the winners? I know nothing. It all goes to charity. Everything yeah. for me is just to prove, and that's all it is. Yeah. Like everyone's trying to prove you're all raising money for charity. And oh, awesome! You know, it, it, it's a real charity. All the money goes to them. Like you know, yeah. nothing goes to us. And that's why they had the celebrities on it. They were all yeah. all these people are rich. I was the poorest person there. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I remember, I remember Stringer. Like they, they were giving us. <laughs> they, were, yeah, they were giving us a fee to be on the show and Stringer was like a real yeah I'm going to donate my fee to the to the charity as well I'm sitting there going he turns to me and I'm like and he goes what are you going to do with yours I'm looking at Stringer yeah you I'm going to do it what too what he said uh, <laughs> so that, it, was, it was how it was you know and we, we went on it as I said and it was every morning you wake you up so first night I knew what to expect. I knew they're going to do recruit training. They're going to bring us full in here. And this is what's going to go. So I had a bit, of, I did have a, a, an edge up on it. And I knew about all the admin, about having everything else. Like, ah, this is it. It's all falling into place. And the fitness, I mean, man, I was super fit. I mean, super fit. And I had no injuries. I had brand new after everything got, everything was repaired. By the way, all these things that happened to me during training, they broke and it kept getting postponed because of COVID. Yeah. So every time something broke, I was like, oh, please be postponed. And I got postponed. And then the time I was brand new, it just worked out perfect, perfect right? Yeah. The tour postponement, it was, it went ahead and I basically went on the show, did the whole thing and it was uh, that morning you wake up and it's like here, like a bit of porridge, like a bit, one scoop of porridge like that dry with a, bit, with a tiny bit of water to fuck it in and they gave you this really, 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 really concentrated tea. Like it was just like tar, no milk, nothing. That was your breakfast for the day. Right? Yeah. Sent you out for the day and they had you running a ragged. The guy me and man, they had you running in and out. You're soaking, you are freezing, you're in the sea, you're cold, everything. Bring you back that day. Here's some food. You go to eat the food. You've got like literally a minute to eat the food. A minute to eat the food. Those people are getting their utensils out. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> Rubbing it into my face. For about three, four days and have it. I, I remember at times I wasn't even going to the toilet. I was pissing myself. Just, yeah. A lot of people, What's yeah, the point? yeah. Like there was no point. Like, I mean, you, you were running, 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 running. You're jumping in the water. You're soaking wet all the time. And then like to tell you, right, you come back and they'd have you doing all these things drilling them rolling around the horrible ground shit. Yeah. horrible shit day yeah. one's okay guys one, one hour sleep yeah. I mean that's no exaggeration ask anyone on that show this is no exaggeration mm, one hour sleep, sleep we got first night man. if we got that I think it was mm. like 40 minutes that one, one night we got as well and they wake you up and it's all again the same shit and after one day it's okay two days it's like oh jeez yeah. look we've all done a session on a weekend yeah. <laughs> yeah. after two days oh how, no how, how many days was it for though yeah, it was a week seven days oh, it was a full, full week yeah, yeah full day yeah, a so, lot of people break down broke down yeah. in that so the last thing is yeah. you see everyone kind of falling off and the thing oh, I excel there's a fitness part as flying I was fucking flying even the sleep I was fine the adrenaline had me going I just yeah. wasn't tired I was always moving so moving, you didn't yeah. feel any of that the hunger was a little bit hard but just the adrenaline just kept me going kept me going kept me going and in my head I kept saying right I have to oh do this God. I have to do this everybody is like ex-army everyone I'm, you know, they're all looking at me now I'm that bleeding spa from back in the day I had all these things to lose and I was like uh, you know thinking about that thinking about my family everyone's going to watch it I said look I have to be as hard as nails here I'm, and I kept looking around going I went rugby stars athletes mm. actual athletes and I'm out and then I started really started believing in myself going I'm they're dropping out like, yeah. I'm actually a tough bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew that? Right. Jesus so Christ. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. So then we get to the last event and it was me, 
Stringer who you would never think me and Stringer would be good friends. I actually really like Stringer, really good friends. And then Barry, uh, Barry used to hate me. Barry's from Hermitage Green. Barry hated me because he knew me from California. Okay. And he told the producers that he hated me, right? Oh. But, and that was said, like, but I love him. He's actually such a nice guy. He's the nicest guy. I became one of the biggest fans of his band, Hermitage Green. I know mm. every song. I know every, and this was only afterwards. It all kind of just, it was just mental together, like, yeah. and I loved everybody on that show I tell you there was there was a lot of good people on that show and it's like do you ever be it's kind of like that thing um, where Charlie Brown is it Charlie Murphy's talking about Rick James yeah and yeah yeah, yeah. I, remember seeing, James, I remember seeing I remember seeing Barry after the show and I watched to see the show and I was a big fan and again the last time I saw Barry we were on that mountain and we did a 20k route march with like the big weight on our back and I was running with Barry and I was I was running out of steam and Barry quit and I was like Barry please come on please it was like that scene from Castaway Wilson <laughs> Wilson no I was crying I left yeah. Barry crying and I hadn't saw Barry since then yeah. and I was like I felt like I let him down I, I left him I, I had to keep mad. going on yeah, and I was, yeah, I was yeah. all, and all of us came so, like, we only mad emotional a week, a week like, but because we all went through that shit like, yeah. imagine, like an hour sleep a night where every one of us was like emotional dying like that it was, rough, bro. It, was yeah. it was hard so my knee fuck, popped like, I, I never I never had any injuries really my whole yeah. life no major anyway my knee is gone it's fucked I have arthritis and everything in it and I know everyone says you've yeah, you arthritis I'm in pain now because it's aching because it's a cold room right <laughs> right it's it, it's it's I'm always in pain that's me that's my secret I'm always in pain always <laughs> that's me yeah. that's it <laughs> that's me I'm always in pain it is yeah. me hip now old, I retore, me, old me, man Mark me, me hip is not the same I'm, I don't recover anymore I'm just in bits but all happened it's like my body or whatever as I said to you I don't believe in things happen for a reason but I think things happen as that way. Mm. My body gave it everything in this. And ever since then, my body has been deteriorating. And I'm going to say deteriorating. Look, I'm not fucking 60, but you know the difference between 20s and fucking training and now being, not telling you, I'm 40, fuck, I'm nearly 40, right? I'm fucking coughing dodger at this stage. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? But I gave it everything there and my body held up and it's kind of like it made an unofficial agreement with me look we'll get you through this yeah. but don't fucking that's talk it, to me man. again yeah, yeah, that's it yeah. don't yeah. even talk but no, to me look, again. you have to respect that man and you went in you gave it the best you I can did. It was you, you smashed it and you walk mm. away with the bleeding victory mm. and like uh, I don't know if you just pick a charity each to just yeah everyone had a charity what, what was your charity uh, at the time it was aware um, and it, they, I just it, it kind of at the time a lot of people have just from COVID a lot of yeah. people were kind of you know mental health and all that kind of stuff and yeah. I think you put a lot of stuff up as well I think you put yeah, some admin video up as well. as well and I kind of lo listened to a lot of people and what was going around and I was like Jesus man there's a lot of people and, and again a lot of people I don't know do you say lost their lives or they just they went through some stuff and mm. it's not trying to be like it we were all we all knew about people doing this sort of stuff, but yeah. I think when COVID happened, man, it was like it was man, a, everyone just like like it just went. It was so everyone knew everything about everybody, yeah. and it was like, oh my yeah, god, you're looking tough. around. There wasn't one person I knew that wasn't touched by this. Oh thing. man, it was tough. It was tough. Me personally, it was more the domestic. Yeah, the yeah. people stuck in the house with their domestic abusers, man. That was yeah. that that was really really hit, home hitting for me. You know yeah. what I mean? But yeah, now, like look, we're, we're just coming down to the end of the time there, and I want to bring you into a few other things before I go. So you talk about the fight. Um, you can talk me. The fight. <laughs> you can talk me. Yeah. <laughs> you so know what I mean? But no, 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 no. no. Listen, the fight. You have to touch on the fight. The fight. Yeah, let let let's go. Let's. Be Nah, fuck the fight. Oh, <laughs> after the fight. The fight. This is how we got me here. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, no, let's talk about the fight. The fight in the Red Cow. Um, it's on on the 16th, is it? 16th December, we're fighting. Uh, I'm fighting against the Wheelo fella. The Wheelo fella, who, yeah. Uh, he's, man, looks you know what? I love him. I absolutely love the fella. You know, it's like a young, you know, it's a young version him. of you. Mate, he looks just like me. The exact mm. same. Oh, he's got taller and better looking. Oh, that is mad. <laughs> I was only with him last yeah. night. Yeah. yeah, I was only with him last night. He is actually, he's like, the exact same. Hey, he he is There's a great a lad. So he rings yeah. me up. He just ring me up. And again, I'm going back into that. So the thing is that I, I may like I'm back in that mode of training yeah. again. Man, I'm super fit. I'm just as fit as I was when I went into Hell Week. I am ready to run through walls. Yeah, yeah, I am yeah. gonna I'm watching you. You've been training with Bulky yeah. a lot. Yeah, well, but training with uh, Sh Shane Roach. Shane Roach is training me at the moment and then the Eden Moore Boxing Club. And then there's a few other lads doing it, doing it a bit as well. But I'm kind of, oh, man, lads, I'm training. This is what I'm saying to you. Don't see me bored. Yeah. I'm training on a Monday. I'm training with, with Roachy. Then I'm going on a 5K. Then I'm doing two, three 
hour sparring nearly on a Tuesday and a Thursday. Wednesday, I'm in the army and I'm running 5K. Friday, I'm doing uh, training with, with Rochi again. 5K then with your man, uh, get better with Chris doing the, the yeah. running. And then on Sunday, I, if I can make yoga or I try to get a little bit of a lie in or something, but yeah. I'm just broke up by the end of the week. Yeah. But yeah. I'm like, as I said, Wheelo, some days I'm, I don't have the motivation. Wheelo will be ringing me up right and I tell you, this is how funny he is, lads, lads. He'd leave me voice messages and he goes, what's up? He's always pissing. He's always, you can hear him pissing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah. And he's like, Danny goes, Yeah, deadly, mate. Yeah, keep it going. I'm going to go on a 5k then. And he'd be like, Yeah, yeah, doing great, man. Fair play to you. Keep it up. I'm going to yeah. smash your fucking face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this or he rang me up the other day literally, it's always voice message not actually direct contact yeah, 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 yeah. Like voice message yeah mate how are you getting on yeah mate I'm the same yeah I'm fucking I'm doing this yeah grew up this morning me back is killing me me flute is killing me but you know what I get on I do it you little bitch <laughs> <laughs> and he does this or he does these videos he goes uh, he does a video he goes look yesterday he holds camera up he's like he goes you know what yesterday was a tough time look lads I'm, oh, I got up this morning I saw the, pl the cold uh, plunge pool he's yeah, doing yeah, yeah. I was yeah, gone yeah. I look at you know some days is not for you you know I'm gonna have a nice little breakfast this morning and recuperate Richard. that's why I say I was a little bitch but I'm not and he's he's deadly lad I swear my board I think my board's gonna leave me if he, if he wins my board loves him like and my board's man oh, geez, really like, but, he's a, but the funny thing is he mails her and I'll be going don't worry I'm not gonna kill him too much and my board's like <laughs> And he's winding me up at home, but he's, man, do you know what, like, yeah. honestly, we're both, and the thing is, we he is training hard, he's encouraging me he to is. train hard. I have to give it to him, he is, he's telling he is me. I'm telling he's him, him. we're both going to, man, we are both ready, I mean, I was ready a few weeks ago, I'm, yeah. I'm ready just to empty everything I've got oh, into this. Oh, it's going to be fucking yeah. and, and have, have you been in there for events? Uh, what one? In the Brad Cow with the bay. No, uh, I haven't the, been there. Have you no, never been there, no? I went there for a, for a face-off, which, yeah, the, the, fella, that. the fella that was supposed to do the face-off forgot to press record. <laughs> no, mate. <laughs> no, there's a good view. where he is, but he's oh, like, oh, yeah, There's a good view for you, I'm yeah. excited for your fight. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. One of their boys in there as well, Kieran McDonough. He's fighting yeah, Conor yeah. right now. Oh, is he? Yeah, 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 I, saw, yeah I saw you put that video up. Yeah. You recorded with the bag of beer. Yeah. Yeah. I saw so that. So I'm yeah. going to be doing this car, I'm going to be there yeah. anyway, yeah. doing everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then we yeah. have. Uh, this is Dublin. This is Dublin. Oh, that's right. So the main event, it's. we Look, I don't want to say who it is just yet because we're not really clear but I am pushing for this is Dublin because you know why I'm mad he's oh, fucking gas you know why I'm pushing for him do you know why I'm pushing lad he's fucking gas he's, he's gas he's, he's just deadly and I tell you he's he's a great lad as well like, yeah. he knows, he's just going this is Dublin and he's really <laughs> up like, and he's just saying like, he's just mad the stuff he does like, Bro, I was saying to him like he doesn't miss a thing Never. No, no, yeah, what the fuck like, he does not miss a thing like, like, hell man yeah. like, like, do you ever wonder why Spider-Man's always in the right place at the right time he knows, miss you know, he knows this is Dublin <laughs> <laughs> same fella. He's spoiler man, is what he is. But yeah, so I'm I'm raising every penny I raise now. Any sponsors, none of it goes to me because I told you I've got money now. I'm not yeah, rich, as I said, yeah, but I'm yeah, happy yeah, enough. And you know what? Genuinely, it's making me happy knowing that I'm raising money for the Laurel Lynn Foundation. So in, in October, I did nearly a ten thousand press ups. I did for uh, Laurel Lynn. It was like three hundred, two to three hundred a day, and I, I think I was just under ten thousand. And we raised, I think it was two, just me and the seven battalion did it. Yeah. So it was like 2,700 we raised. And we were delighted. Our, our target was two and a half grand. So now I've set my target again for two and a half grand. And I think we're, we're, we're close to two. Yeah. You Have know? you got a donation place? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll give you the link. As well. It's on link, my yeah. page as well. And then yeah, we, uh, yeah, we did the Rocky video. Did you see the Rocky video that we did? Which one? The Rocky montage video we did. No, I haven't seen it. Yeah. Oh, you're man. gonna you're gonna put it on your page after this. I'm yeah, yeah, let's we went, see it. Yeah. yeah, we went up the mountains. We did. And we did a rocky montage because we were supposed to do the Ivan Drago part. <laughs> and we were, so we're doing. We made Rochi. We're pulling them on sleds and we're running up hills and we're doing like skipping. We're chopping down trees and we're we're just doing yeah. magic. Yeah. We're punching trees and putting them punching them in half and yeah, all. Yeah, and yeah, just yeah. mad stuff. Like that's absolute fucking mad deli, stuff. That is mad. But the Laura, it's a Laura Lynn uh, Hospice is what it's called. So I call it Foundation. It's a Laura Lynn Hospice uh, and it's at Laura Lynn Hospice. Um, and uh, again, every penny. None of it comes to me. So any, I know some other fighters are raising money for their training and whatever. Mm. Nothing goes to me. It goes directly to directly them. To and and, and look, that's on the 16th, yeah? 16th of the 16th. And um, where, where, where's the tickets, man? The tickets at the UC, uh, at UCC underscore Ireland. Okay, and so you can't buy tickets from the fighters? Uh, no, no, no. Wait, someone okay. said you dodgy tickets. Shit. 
Okay, yeah, right. so you can't get your yeah, okay, so you don't get tickets from the fighters. No, the reason why I asked that mm. is most pro fighters they have to sell their own tickets. Nah, no, no, no. So, so, so again, so like the, I know the lads are of the fight as well. They are donating. There's, there's, there's a couple of there's a couple of them. There's a uh, I think, is it Lawrence Hope? Is that the one? The other one? So is, no, what's it called? Is it Lawrence Hope? There's, 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 I can't remember. I don't want to butcher this. But yeah. there's three there's three charities, and one of them is the Laurel Inn. The lads, I asked them, can they throw it in? They're going to put a donation of the tickets to Laurel Inn, and there's oh, two brilliant. other these two other uh, charities as well. I'm sorry that I can't remember. Shannon's Hope, that's it. Shannon's okay. Hope, and then there's another one. Um, and my one is directly just on the side. I just want to kind of get a little bit extra money for the kids at Christmas. Mm -hmm. And again, it's not trying to be a nice guy. It it is actually a motivation for me because the thing is, there's many a times I'm sitting and going, oh. Oh, I'm, I hope this thing cancels I don't have to fight but then nah. if I do the ch all the sponsors that have spent the money yeah. like there's only yeah. pizza now the, they paid like fucking maybe a grand to yeah. sponsor me arse there's only yeah. pizza yeah. and then yeah. Cluck Chicken all the all the food places Cluck Chicken have me here as well you know? <laughs> <laughs> of, all, of all the food places because they all go neck you, oh, that's fucking I've, lost, I've lost about 5 kilos now for this like yeah. I went I was no we've been watching you I've been watching yeah. you like even all your all, all, all your span everything you're back and back you're back you're back and forward with, with, with so yeah, even going out and jogging with what's his name? Um, yeah, get better with Chris. Get better with Chris. Like that's that's be that's beautiful, man. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. Like and like doing it for charity is another thing. Like you know what I mean? Like a lot of people look. I think it's proud, I'm proud to see you in this position where you're not you're not looking for anything yeah. else, but you're doing it for the good of the health of the other yeah, people, the yeah. good cause. You know what I mean? So that's respect on you, mate. Yeah, respect, and that's gonna be a big night. Yeah, I'm gonna let you know, man. Red cow, yeah. it's gonna be a massive night, man. I'll be there, he'll be there, we all be there. We're gonna be sure fucking yeah, yeah, man. Now afterwards, I won't be so healthy because I haven't drank in maybe five weeks, six weeks. I'm not a big drinker anyway, but it's just yeah. gonna be. See, after that, I can't wait. I'm probably gonna after and then we're after probably gonna then. be a week after that. No, you're staying over. <laughs> Paul's <laughs> probably going to kick me out and go home with him. It's going to happen. Do you know what I mean? But it's just, it's just, I just love the, the camaraderie. Like it just because you can tell he's ex army as well. Yeah, like he, he is. Yeah, he yeah, has yeah, the yeah. same buzz. I think he's seven battalion, and and he's just, he just has that same buzz about him. And you know, man, mm. I've got probably got to find it so hard knocking a bollocks out of him. Yeah. But I actually love him. I love the fella. I, I, guys, I was even going to come out with one of his songs. What was it called? Toxic X. Toxic X. Yeah, I was going to come out with that. I was, I was going to come out with that. It's actually catchy. Like, it's 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 toxic nice. X. It's really toxic it's X. Yeah. 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 So come here. Who's doing your corner? Uh, so uh, Roachy's going to do my, Shane Roach's going to do my corner who is, um, what's that girl's name? The she, does, she Everyone knows her. She's a girl who won the Olympics recently. What's her name again? Oh, um, uh, uh, said, yeah, on the podcast a while back, um, she won the. She, yeah, she wrote a book. I, I know who I'm you're so talking sorry. about. Yeah, she's Kelly Harrington. Kelly Harrington. Kelly yeah, Harrington. Harrington. Sorry, <laughs> Kelly, don't bother me. <laughs> uh, it, she mentioned him in his book. Shane Roach. Shane Roach is a pro boxer, and he's one of my mates years. And he's just man. I tell you, he's not how he how he's teaching. He's just stuff that I just that couldn't you pick know, up for years. Simple. People, are, but people are telling me this stuff. Like, he's picking up on all the things that any trainer, even Borky, was doing a bit with me as well. Borky mm. was saying, "Man, you're doing this. You're tight rope. You're doing this." And the stuff I've done for years, and I just couldn't get it through me. Head, but Shane, whatever way he's able to do, he's just so good at explaining right, and I'm copying. Yeah. Oh my god, oh my god! Like mm. everyone was telling me this, Borky was put, pointing out loads of things that I was doing, and he was just able to kind of, you know, make me work through it and help me get better at it. And yeah. as I said, now I just look. Okay, I've no excuses. I'm sore all the time. Like I'm in pain every. Nothing wrong with my mouth though, but me, <laughs> like I'm in pain all the time. No joke. I, I'm, mm. I'm, if I can, if 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 I'm at injury, me, me shoulders, which I did, I got hit by a car there last Thursday, and I got back up off the ground. That's another, I'll leave, I'll leave at this. I'll leave at this story before I know you want to go right, but. I know you want to go. Uh, he wants to go home. This, this poor fella is shaking. Can talk, man. Right? <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> right. Mark, talk about the soap again. No, no, the soap, right? <laughs> so basically, I was on the way home the other day, and my board said, we'd go into the shop and we'd pick this up. So I pulled in an inch of car and I pulled the car onto the path. So I'm in the path, and I, you know, so my door, car door opens onto the road. So I get out of the car and I close the door, and I'm on the phone. Literally to me board going, yeah, 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 what do you want? Bang. And then boom, I went up in the air. My keys went, this was like literally last Thursday. Me, I ran Wheelow straight away. Kilo goes, you better not be bottling. I'm, if I lose an arm, I'm going to kill you. You know what I mean? Right? <laughs> so I went on a run that day as well, I did, because even though, because Wheelow was giving me a hard time, right? Oh, so my keys went flying across the road and then he sculled his bunch of L ones over here. And I went up over the bonnet of the car and I went up in the air, tumbled. Now I still had the phone in my hand, but the place I actually heard was the palm of my hand and my shoulder. Yeah. The way you landed, impact, yeah. right? And I kind of grew up. My ego was like looking around. Was them L ones like, 
looking at me, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm like, I get up off the ground like this, kind of like that. <laughs> yeah. he fought, I, I just got hit by a car. No, I did. No, I swear to God, I just got hit by a car. Yeah. You want? <laughs> I just, boy. And I see this fella driving up his little car, and I'm like, this fucker was trying to drive off. <laughs> walked over, walked over, and I said, Walk real kind of like this, and I'm kind of walking up, and he's going. He's not going anywhere. He's in traffic. And I knock uh, on his knock on his window, and some granddad about eight years of age didn't in, even his, notice. in a short in a short <laughs> and, yeah in a short that was probably like fit him about fifty years yeah. ago. And now he's lost all the weight, like he's kind of like myself. Yeah. Like, so you know, I knock on his window in the height, but I kind of I haven't really thought of what I'm going to say. What the fuck? Like. And, he, and he's, he's just stumbling trying to. <laughs> trying to open the window, you know, hello, can, can I help you? And I was like, you yeah, 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 that was me, you just hit with your car. <laughs> and he just turned around and he goes, I hit your car. Oh my God. <laughs> and I went, no, no, you just hit me with your car. What? When did I do that? And I was just like, <laughs> go on, good luck. Don't worry about it, have a good day, sir. Sorry about that. <laughs> and so I just went, yeah, I felt so bad. Oh, so I walked back. I walked back sake. and I got kind of, what, kind of stumbling a little bit like that. And then the, all the other ones just shouting over, are you all right? I'm fine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was happy days I got back into the shop and I, got, I, got, I, got, I picked up my keys and I went back and jumped into the car and I rang her back. She goes, did you get that in the shop? Said, you fucking cut us out of the car. I I took it all out on her then. Yeah. That was your fault. Well, yeah. That was your fault. <laughs> yeah. So I went home then, I was in bits of the week. I couldn't throw any hooks or nothing. And I said, the ring, Wheeler was like, it's Wheeler goes, how are you getting on today? So oh, I'm in mean, bits, got hit by a car. You're bottling there, you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, mate, I don't give a fuck if I lose a limb. I'm going to fucking take your head off. He goes, That's what I like to hear. <laughs> you want him going for a jog. Yeah, and then he says to me, and, then he did, and he's always pissing. Every time he has a thing, it's just him pissing. And he's like, I'm talking, and he's like, yeah, mate, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna go on a run, yeah, I'm gonna bleed and punch your fucking head in. <laughs> <laughs> but he does it all the time, and it's a big long message. And at yeah. the very end, if he does something, I'm gonna smash your fucking face in. And it's always yeah. like, I'm just like, fucking, am I boys like real? What is wrong with him? He's gonna get you. Yeah. <laughs> he's, yeah, coming. He's, gonna, he's, he's coming. coming. Yeah. He's coming. He's coming. He's more afraid than me. Like, oh. I, 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 I tell you now, I just can't wait for this to be just. I want to just have the like. I just want ah, this to be a great. war. It's gonna it's be gonna man. Be a great I know it is. Yo, let me give you a little hint. He's taller than me. No, yeah, yeah, no, I knew well, that. Yeah, he's tall, he's tall. <laughs> no, he's about the same height. He's been about the same height. He's just a little bit. Yeah, he would. Me and him? No, well. Uh, uh, no, bro, Wheelow's. Wheelow's he's taller than me. Wheelow's taller than me. Am I taller than you? Uh, everyone's taller than me, mate. What, 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 what height are you? I'm five, I used to say five nine, but I'm not, I'm five eight. I'm five nine. <laughs> You're not five yes. nine, and the rest of you know Five yes, nine. But, but, yeah. but, the, the little life hack I'm going to give you guys is, it's a smaller wing. There's no running away. Ah, mm. well, yeah, well, that's it's great. It's a small away. doesn't matter, I'm not so running anyway. The only war. way I'm running is towards you, Wheelow. Is that yeah. what I'm going to do? I'm going to tell you, see, this is going to be the battle of the teat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, look, it's been a pleasure. Oh, honestly, <laughs> I love you, brother. Honestly, yeah, I love do. You too, I really, really, really Who's do. your favourite guest, though? Uh, so far? Yeah. Oh, bro, this has been a good one. Wow. Good one. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. You Not that I'm vain or anything. That is a good question, though. I played the fifth. <laughs> uh, we're not American now. That's, no, we don't have fifths. Come on. They're no you. common. <laughs> no, uh, I'm not a copper. Come on. Yeah, I really, I really enjoy. <laughs> this. I enjoy this. I really enjoy this. Um, you can say you it. bring that energy. Just that say it. The just same say energy. It. Just say it. I tell you. Well, just you say. Just say, no. Just say it. Go ahead, tell him. Just say. I don't want to know what you're thinking. What tell you me what I want to hear. Tommy Ellis. Tommy Ellis. That, you love that. Love you love that, that guy, didn't you? Episode you know? nine, bro. I think everybody should go watch this guy. It's about. It's about. Um, Claire. He's a clear audience. Clear audience. So it's like yeah, clear good, yeah. but, uh, meditation, yeah. all that. You into all that? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Well, yeah. Into it like that now. I'm not like. I'm no, not, no, no. Yeah, I'm no. Balls at home. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Know. I just think that's mad, though. People being on all that. Anyway, look, I'll keep talking. Don't let me yeah. keep going. Yeah. Do you know what? You're my favorite guest today. So you See, yeah, there's no always right. You should have done the same thing. No, <laughs> but <laughs> honestly, <laughs> guys. <laughs> This, this has been crazy. But yo, guys, if you like what we do, make sure to like the subscribe mm -hmm. and follow, follow, follow. Thank you, Mark. You've yeah, been a Denny, gentleman. And again, if you can donate, 
at yeah. Laura Lynn Hospice. All, yes. the, all of it goes to that. And probably for Wheeler to get new teeth. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. on the 16th, guys. On the 16th of December. It's going to start. What time is that? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's anyway, 16th of December. 16th, Make sure yeah. to go check it out. Google it. Do whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on the Red Cow. Yeah. And it's going to be an epic night. We'll be there. Mike is going to be fighting. Yeah. I'm going to be screaming, you can do it. So guys, catch us on the next one and we are out here. Look. Yes man. Do you like that? Legend. We've made it to the end. Guys, if you're fucking with us and you like exactly what we were doing, everything we talked about, make sure to do a follow, like, share, subscribe, YouTube or Spotify, no matter what you're listening or watching us on, be sure to hit all them buttons and run up them numbers, my guys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you better. <laughs> <laughs>